Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to learn how to rename indexes, change the labels of columns or rows basically, and that's quite straightforward and easy to do in pandas and data frames. Let's import our pandas the usual way and create our usual data frame. It's becoming a friend now. Um, we have city rank score 1, score 2, and the row labels that we've assigned before. Um, and to change the uh, 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 an index name or label in pandas, we can use the rename function. If we do shift tab on that, we notice here that we tell it, you know, the index and or the columns, which one, or maybe both, you know, which one that we want to actually change or update. Uh, you can read about the other options that we have, and you can find little examples. But in our case, uh, what we're doing here is we're calling the rename function and then we're saying index equals now we pass it a dictionary of key value pairs as usual the key is the existing label and the value is the new label so here i'm saying in the index i.e in the row labels change capital a to small a and i can say change maybe capital g to gg if i do that notice it doesn't do it in place by default, it creates a new data frame, but I can tell it to do it in place equals true, and it'll do it in place. So if I display the data frame contents now, the capital A will be a small a and the capital G will be GG, right? It did it in place. Uh, likewise, for the columns, um, I just need to say columns, rename columns equals a dictionary, maybe uh, change... What do we have here? Rank, small case, so rank, all, small, change it to rank with capital R. If I do that, here I'm saying in place, it'll do it in place. If I display the results, I have rank now with capital R. And we can also pass it um, a list of new column names and then pass it to columns. Uh, this is something I don't know whether I said before, but we can actually have column names by doing df.columns and then we can assign new values by doing df.columns equals a new list of column names so if we do that this will do it in place by default if I do that and then display df then you notice now we have city level score 1 score 2 the new column names so this df.columns data frame.columns equals a list of new column names it'll do it in place whereas df.rename by default, it's not in place, it creates a new data frame, but you can set that to true and it'll do it in place, meaning it will update the actual data frame that we're working on. You know, needless to say that we can have, you know, the two things at the same time. So let me copy that and paste it here. Remember now that our data frame looks like this, so we don't have a um, row label of capital A, but rather it's small a. Let's change that to... AA and let's change GG to GG and then columns we have level let's change level to L this is because we're doing this in fact maybe it makes more sense to move this after what we've done so the sequence of commands makes sense so we're just updating this data frame now and we're doing it in place A to AA GG to GG and then change level to L apply that oh it's invalid syntax yet yeah, because we have the leading comma there but this is just to demonstrate that we can do the change at the same time run that and then the data frame will have the new uh, column name or label and the new row label hope that makes sense quite easy to do thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video